Hello, my name is Victor Planas Bielsa. I'm the academic director for the program uh, Data Science and Artificial Intelligence for Business at EDEC Business School. We are very uh, attentive to the changes in the market, so we have a lot of uh, ongoing discussions uh, with uh, people in the industry, uh, academia, uh, with alumni, and we are constantly receiving information on how the new technologies are shaping and reshaping and changing the, 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 the job skills that are required. And all this information is uh, really integrated into our curriculum uh, on an almost ongoing basis. So we try to have always programs that uh, uh, adapt to the job market because our, our main objective is that our graduates, when they graduate from uh, our master programs, really find the jobs that uh, are appropriate for them and uh, they can actually shine on, you, on their careers. At the DEC Business School, we have a data track which is uh, specifically for data. It's called Data uh, Science and Artificial Intelligence for Business. And then we have a business management track and a finance track. So in, in the M1 year, uh, students can uh, decide to specialize already from M1 in the data specialities, or they can decide to take a more general approach on the business management. And then at the specialization uh, MSc, they can, people from that took uh, the disciplines on, on data or business management, can decide specialize, specialization either in data analytics and artificial intelligence, or uh, also in marketing analytics, but also if they took, they took the master or uh, in finance, they can decide to go from the M1 data uh, science to the finance specializations. So there is a lot of uh, cross-fertilization of, uh, of uh, programs. So it's very interesting. So each student can basically adapt the curriculum to, to what they, they want. And the difference is, basically the difference is the level of technicality and the application of that technicality that you will do in the future. So of course, if you take a business management plus market analytics, you are very well prepared to the type of jobs that require a lot of uh, business thinking. If you decide to go in the path of uh, data science and artificial intelligence plus marketing analytics or data analytics, you will have a more technical background and then you will be able to tackle different kinds of problems and apply for different kinds of, of jobs. It's really a, 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 an answer to a request of the job market. So there are more and more uh, jobs that are requiring skills, technical skills on, uh, on Python, AI, and in understanding of data in general. So it was really a response to that. So one response could have been to implement some of these uh, skills, or some of these uh, topics in the existing courses. But we really saw that there are uh, new jobs that are being created that really require this as the core uh, skill. So we decided that it will be more relevant to have a, a master specifically designed for this type of new jobs that are being created and still, of course, we are uh, because we are creating all these courses, these courses uh, can also influence the way in which we teach in other masters. So all students are ba basically benefiting for the creation of these new jobs. They are really at the core of the program. So our students from the first semester, they start learning programming, Python, uh, they learn databases, uh, SQL, and then they learn machine learning, introduction to machine learning. They start to see really some notions of deep learning. So when they finish their first year, even if they have already taken a lot of finance and business management courses, they are super well prepared technically to attack from the specialization year. And if they want to, maybe they want to specialize on data science, they are ready to do that. Maybe they want to specialize on finance or marketing or on business management, they are ready to do that. So they have a really, really strong basis, basis for that. The experience has been great so far. So the partnership is basically a, a company, it's, in this case it's Orange, that is uh, accompanying us, is, is with us during the, the whole year. And what we do with them is, is a lot of activities. So for instance, they come regularly to give seminars. So experts on the Orange uh, business consulting, they come here to explain things about machine learning, ethics and data, uh, MLOps. Uh, they also explain uh, you know, how data pipelines and projects of data can be integrated a big scale. So regularly they come here and, and it's really the bridge between an academic courses and what these techniques will look like in reality. They, they also organize, uh, we have, we're organizing, for instance, a ethical AI startup challenge in which students need to think in a business uh, plan to create a company in which AI is implemented ethically. 
So this is great because students, okay, they have to apply the technical uh, things that they learned, but then they can develop the creativity. And this is all uh, evaluated by experts at Orange that can, uh, they came to Nice, they came to the campus to basically discuss with students and improve their cases and help them to, to build a better, a better pitch idea. We take very seriously the fact that the AI needs to be uh, used ethically. So, of course, we have a course in uh, ethics and AI, which is a specific ethical ethics course for AI. But also in most of the courses in which AI is used, professors are very aware that we need to teach not only the techniques to use AI, but also the good practices to use it. The, uh, what are the implications, ethical implications uh, of using it? either because of the bias, because of sustainability, all the different aspects that now are being discovered or being kind of on, on the news. We try to implement that, uh, not just on a specific course, but in all the courses that use AI. It's part of uh, the uh, DNA to always uh, have an eye on sustainability and responsibility. We are really going to a data-driving economy. So all companies, even if they are not in the data space, they are going to need to adapt to this new economy. So they are going to need to use, handle, understand, and leverage data for their business in whatever sector they are. So all the jobs, especially jobs at the, the management, top management, they are going to need to understand the value that data is providing to the businesses. So for me, in a few years, if not already now, all managers that really want to understand how to create value in their own sectors, need to understand data and need to understand all the possibilities of data and of course all the risks of using data in a bad way. So I think it's going to be a crucial that we have a new generations of leaders and managers that they just not learned data on the spot, but they really have that as a solid background foundation uh, understanding. And, and it's going to be, I think, the, the, the new layer of the managers that will run the, the business. Yes, of course. So we have uh, in M1, they can choose uh, different tracks. So there's a track in business management, as I explained before. There is a track in uh, data science and artificial intelligence for business. We also have a track in finance, very, very well-known uh, track in finance. And then after the gap year in which they will do internships uh, in, in different uh, companies, the specialization, they can choose a, a lot of different specializations depending on the track that they have chosen. So students that chose the data track they can do uh, specializations in uh, data analytics and artificial intelligence. They can do specializations in marketing analytics. They can specialize as well in international finance or uh, financial engineering. They can also have one of the uh, double degrees that we are offering with different universities if they want to have a path more uh, in the engineering side or maybe uh, other type of courses. So the offer is quite uh, wide, quite vast. And maybe the, the hard thing is actually choice. <laughs> the choice of uh, in the, such a big basket of options. I think the internship is one of the key elements of any, any program. First, uh, it allows after the first year in which the basics and the foundations are being uh, acquired, it, it allows to understand really how these foundations apply in real life. You, you don't know something, you don't understand something until you haven't actually applied that in real cases. So this is really the, 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 the role, one of the roles of the internships. Second role is that students, because they have so many specializations at the, at the, at the last year, they can actually use these internship, uh, internships to explore what is really what they like, what they would like to do, what it really means, the, the, the task and the, of each of the jobs. So it's an exploration time for them. And also, it's a, it's a time to mature as uh, individuals, as persons. Uh, it, it builds the responsibility of working on, on the company. So when they come to the third year, they have all the technical uh, and academic understanding of M1 and a lot of baggage and experience learned on one year of internships. So they are really changed individuals. They are really uh, much more mature students and then they can profit much more. They, they leverage the, the capacities for the specialization year. We have so many, but just to give some names that people know, so we have Accenture, Amazon, Capgemini, Deloitte, of Nike, KPMG, uh, PWSC, uh, we also have uh, Orange, we have uh, Salesforce, uh, Unilever, Webstone, okay. 
all, and then of course in, in the finance side you, you can imagine all the main banks in France and in Europe we have students also uh, doing internships there so it, we have a lot of the, the, we have a lot of you can you can tap it. The idea candidate is a student that is passionate about data, that uh, likes data and understands that data provides value to the companies. And he wants to work on, 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 a, on a job position, on a role in which data is used to create value and to, to make strategic decisions in businesses. So uh, I think I would say this is, this is the ideal candidate. And then depending on the field in which you want to apply these these skills you you can choose one specialization in finance marketing and data analytics but but the late motive of all of this is that you really believe that the data and ai are going to be the new fuel for the economy in the future there are different entry paths for the program uh, so you can come from the program kind of called uh, you can also come if you have already some degree a university degree so there is a num requirements on the number of uh, ects credits that you need to need to have so, and, and basically the requirements are academic, are not professional. So most of our students are uh, in a continuation uh, of studies uh, pathway. So they don't have to use experience, but they have degrees that are relevant to data. So they, we need to understand that we need to, they need to prove that they have the technical skills required to follow the program, which is very, very challenging. So we, we ask if you have a, a degree on mathematics or computer science, uh, and then you have, of course, very good grades. Like we have, uh, we are very selective on, in terms of our grades. Then you can apply to, to this program. And if you are a candidate that uh, maybe has a degree on some other discipline like economics or even psychology, but then you prove that you have really the technical skills to do that because you have done an internship, a research project using data science and SPSS. Uh, then you can apply and write a motivation letter and we are going to really read motivation letters very, very closely. We want to understand that the student has the capacity, mind, the passion to do to follow the, 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 the program and, and to succeed. Okay.